hello. Today we're going to talk about outfits in more detail that I wore in the month of January. And this is to give you outfit ideas about how to put things together. Maybe you have some of these pieces in your closet already or similar styles that you can take and make your own creation of what I'm showing you today. I like to look at outfits on other people, particularly those that I gravitate towards their style because they give me ideas that, of things that I hadn't thought of before and it helps me to get more creative. So let's take a look at, I don't know, a dozen or so outfits that I wore last month and we'll sort of walk through them together. This first outfit is one that I wore to actually a business meeting that I had in Baton Rouge. I was meeting with somebody that we were possibly going to collaborate together. So I wanted to look somewhat professional, but still a little bit casual. So I would say this is more of an elevated casual look. The blazer makes it a little bit more elevated, but the brown color is just very rich, very pretty. It's double breasted. Wanted to tell you too, this is not a petite size. This is an extra, extra small regular. They don't make petite sizes in this, but it fits me great. It really does. And the sleeves are a tad long, but I don't mind rolling them up. I actually like to roll up sleeves and blazers. Look, this has a really pretty See how the striped under there? And I like to roll them up anyway because I like to show a little bit of wrist and some bracelets. It just makes your arm look longer and your, you know, you look taller if you're showing a little bit of skin right here. So this is an extra, extra small. Love it. Now I just paired underneath it a cream colored turtleneck that's fitted. Basic, very basic, and then a pair of the itty bitty boot, boot cut jeans that have that little flare at the bottom, and it just makes your legs look so much longer than they really are. So, this is a great look, elevated, casual, businessy ish vibe. This look is when I was actually working from home that day, and I think I had a few local errands to run like grocery store, bank, dentist, something like that. And so I wanted to be put together, but I didn't really feel like getting very dressed up. So the Lululemon leggings that you're seeing here do have a slight flare at the bottom, and I'm wearing them in a short length. They don't come in petite length, but they do come in short length, which works perfect for me. They're really, really comfortable. I didn't know for a long time what the hype was about Lululemon, but I get it now. They're, they're, really nice. Then I have it paired with a white, basic white long sleeve tee. Now this one is really good quality. I don't like my tees to be super clingy. I need a little bit of room, which this one has, and it just it's just good. And then just a pink sweatshirt tied around my waist and my gray sneakers. So it was just a very casual look that day, but super comfortable and kind of fun. Welcome or welcome back. If you're new, my name is Michelle. Thank you so much for being here. It's my goal to create this community of women where we feel safe. We feel safe asking questions that about style and life, anything really, that we can just learn from each other. We chat back and forth in the comment section below and it's nice to have that safe space where no question is dumb. You know, we can just ask that of each other. And I love learning from you. I hope you love learning from me as well. So thank you. Thanks for being here and let's dive right back in. Here we have just a basic everyday look. This is typically what I wear on any given day of the week. A good pair of jeans and a nice top. This is a lightweight sweater from Gibson Look and I'm wearing it in an extra, extra small and love the fit. It has sort of like a, a looser sleeve here and then when you get to about here, it's a little bit tighter all the way down. It's more of a snugger fit and I like it. I think it's really cute. Love the color and it has sort of a, a slouchy neck right here. Again, kind of a cute different look and my go-to nude loafers. Now I wear these nude loafers about 80% of the time. They are my go-to shoe. They're just comfortable. I've actually been wearing them for a couple of years now. It might be time to get another style to wear every day, but they just go with everything and they're comfortable. And so that was the look for that day. This day, I was actually heading out to go to my dentist appointment. I was getting my Invisalign uh, 
liner, the little knots on your teeth, I was getting those removed. Yay! I wore them for a year and finally got them off. So that is where I was headed. So this is a pair of joggers that I got from Athleta. I had heard that they had some really nice joggers for petites, and so I wanted to try them. Now this one is called the Rainer jogger. It's R-A-I-N-E-R. -E and I do like it. Now I will say this, when I ordered them, they don't carry them in the store. You have to order the petites online. And when I ordered them, I couldn't tell from the picture, but they sort of have this like, um, not like a pleat, but like a, a little droopy. It kind of reminds me of parachute pants, which I hate even saying that because that's, ugh. but it gave me that vibe of parachute pants, but not Totally. So when I got them, I was like, ooh. But once I put them on, I really liked them. So I decided to go ahead and keep them. And they're really comfortable. And again, petite sizing. So that worked good. And I may try another pair of athletic Athleta joggers. We'll see. And I have it paired with just a striped, black and white striped tee, and then a longer cardigan, sort of a lightweight, uh, I was trying to see if I had it here, a lightweight cardigan thrown over and white sneakers. I have been a long time fan of Spanx and this legging in particular is one of my favorites. It's the booty boost legging and I feel like they literally boost your booty a little bit. It is a comfortable legging. It's one that I choose to wear just when I'm not working out. Just, I love it. It's just really cute. And I have it paired with the Air Essentials half zip top. If you have not tried the Air Essentials line, let me tell you, they are so soft, like uber soft. They're similar to like in touch and feel to Lou and Gray, but they feel a little bit thicker than Lou and Gray and they just, they're just amazing. Just amazing. Treat yourself if you have not tried them yet. But this was just a work from home day look. I have it paired with some gray sneakers, but very casual that day. This lady jacket sweater is so cute. The minute I saw this, I just knew I wanted to have it because it's just so pretty. I am wearing it in a petite small and it runs small. So if this is something you're considering, I would definitely size up one. I wish I'd gotten the petite medium. It's just a little bit, I mean, it fits perfect, but sometimes I like my sweaters to be just a little, have a little bit more room than that. So I have it paired with some jeans that are, these are White House Black Market jeans, wonderful fit. They have just the right amount of stretch to where they don't sag at the end of the day. And then I have these black mules. These are from Sam Edelman. They're so comfortable. They go with so many things. I love a good button down and I am a sucker for stripes because I think that they're so fun to wear. I love to wear them underneath like a sweater and have the stripes peeping out at the top on the collar. I like to wear a sweater thrown over my shoulders or around my waist or there's just so many ways to style it or just on its own because I think it's just that pretty. Now this one in particular runs slightly big so I'm wearing it in a petite extra small and it's quite roomy so just know that. This is the White House Black Market jeans. So, so cute. I wanted to show you this topper because it's just a good weight. It's sort of like sweatshirty t-shirt material, kind of in between t-shirt and sweatshirt as far as thickness. And it, it's just really pretty. It's a nice gray color. And I like that it's longer. I like that it has the big collar and that it has the little loops for the belt so you can cinch it in and kind of show a waist. Or you can always uh, tie them behind and back and just wear it open. But it's just for this time of year, it's a really good piece to have in your wardrobe. And it also comes in a really cool black and white striped that's really fun to wear as well. But this is just a fun piece I wanted to throw in and show you tennis but I really like this tennis dress and when I first got it I was like hmm where am I gonna wear this but I tried it on and it was so comfortable I didn't want to take it off literally I tried it on and I thought I am not gonna like this what am I gonna where am I gonna wear this and I thought well okay 
I'll wear it wherever I would wear shorts, you know, throw some sneakers on. You can put a sweatshirt over your shoulders or over it. It's just a really fun, casual, athletic-y look. I don't think you have to play tennis to wear a tennis dress. <laughs> and this one's really cute, but what's cool about it, I wanted to make sure you knew this, it has a built-in short underneath the, uh, underneath the skirt part, but the short is not tacked down in the back. So in other words, you could pull the shorts down when you have to go to the restroom and you don't have to take the whole thing off, which is a genius really, because you know, when you're out and about and you're near a public restroom, who wants to take their whole entire outfit off to go to the bathroom? So awesome feature, love it. and. I was surprised that I loved it as much as I did because I kind of thought, eh, whatever, you know, but it's really cute and it's really comfortable. You know, we all have style uniforms, just things that we automatically just grab and put on because we don't have to think about it. We know it works. This would be my style uniform. I will reach for a pair of comfortable jeans, a button down, a crisp button down, and this one happens to be pink and it's sort of that Oxfordy material, nude loafers and I'm good to go. So that's just easy. I don't have to think about it. So good paired with hoops. Now, a style tip just to remember this, just keep this filed away in the back of your mind. If you can add a belt to the look, it will look that much more put together. It doesn't have to be an expensive belt, but if you can add a belt, it's going to make it look more elevated. So if you're doing a tuck in and you can always opt to use a belt. Women look more put together if they have the belt on. So this is just one of those easy style uniforms. Grab it, go. I know it works. It's sort of fail proof for me. This is new to me. This is from the new resort collection that just launched from Avara. I love this dress because it's sort of different. First of all, it's a maxi dress, but it's lined only to right above the knees. So you have that sheer overlay of a lace look from the knee down, different and fun. I love that it's sort of a neutral color. It'll go with everything. And it has, it came with a little sash type of string belt. Love that. So it kind of brings you in at the waist and gives you a little bit of shape. So cute, so easy to wear. It would be so fun to wear at the beach or on a summer night. Our weather gets very warm here in Louisiana, so I will be wearing this probably not too much longer. But it is just a great piece to take on vacation with you. Oh, and Avara just re it like ignited, redid my code. They only last for a little bit and then they'll they'll end and then they'll redo it for you. So they just redid my code, so it's 15% off with Michelle 15, which I'll leave that below in case you forget. But what a fun dress this one is. Last piece, this is a dress from Spanx and it is from the Air Essentials line. Again, remember it's that soft, soft fabric. I'm wearing this one in an extra small, love the fit. It is loose, which I like. However, let me say this, it is a long dress. I had it hemmed, so I probably had, I don't know, about this much cut off and hemmed. I knew that that was going to be the case, but I also knew that I would get a ton of wear out of this dress because it's just, it's basic, you know? It's soft, it's comfortable, it's striped, it's cute. I will wear it for years to come, and so I did not mind having it hemmed because I knew cost per wear, I would get my money's worth 100% out of the dress. When you have a striped basic dress like this, one thing that is fun to add to it, of course, is a denim jacket. Now you could do a denim color denim jacket or a white denim jacket would be cute. And then adding that pop. So that pop of red purse, that's how I did it. You could do a pop of pink somewhere, maybe some pink shoes or earrings, like some really fun bright earrings, but adding a pop of color to a basic striped dress like that is just a little bit fun. Thanks friends for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this sort of extra YouTube video. I usually do one a week and I wanted to start sprinkling in an extra one to do two a week when I can. I didn't want to put too much pressure on myself, but when I can do it, I will do it. So I thought, let's do this one. So 
I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that it gave you some ideas of how to style things in your own closet so you can have a little bit of outfit inspiration. If you are not already following me, I invite you to tap the subscribe button below so that you never miss any videos. And it really does help me to be able to put more videos out for you if I have more subscribers and I am seen more on YouTube. So thank you. Enjoy the rest of your week and I will catch up to you in a few days.